Hey guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So I'd actually already recorded a bit of this video, but we're going to start again because I've changed my mind about what we're doing. Um, so let's get stuck into it. So I'm going to plant out this little jar. Um, if you look, it's actually um, just a bit of standard potting mix and some gravel in there. And I actually got this out of the pond, guys, because when I planted the four foot, um, I threw the I threw a couple of little offcuts in the pond, and the offcuts seem to be doing better than the um, ones in the pond. I mean, the ones in the fish tank. So um, I'm pretty much just going to put this in there, and then. We're going to grab some Valus out of the main tank, I think. It's going to be really hard because every time you move everything, it goes um, hazy. And you can hear the bird screaming. Welcome to my life. Alright guys, so I was thinking about it and... I didn't actually need to wet plant it. I can dry plant it and then add water after. But I think I'm going to need to go get a little bit more gravel just to hold the plants down a bit. <sighs> Alright, so I added a little bit more gravel and now I'm filling it up. I'm using my hand to try not mess it up too much. And then we're going to have a look. It's going to take a little while to clear, so I might have to uh, carry this video on a bit later. I'm sorry if the video is a bit short and it's not too exciting, guys, but this is what's something I've actually wanted to try for a while. Um, I was on the fence about putting a baiter in it, but now that I've actually started playing with it, I'm not. I'm not the game. I don't. I don't think it's fair to put a baiter in something this size. Alright, so it's actually clear than, uh, clearer than I expected it to be straight out. This is only like 30 seconds after turning the tap off. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I kind of feel like any more than those two plants is going to be too much. Not to mention the fact that how small it is and I've got Valus in there. Drop a comment below what you think. Should I put a beta in it or should I not? Um... If I did put a baiter in it, I'd probably keep it right next to the sink like it is now so I could do daily water changes. And like, all pet shops keep their baiters in jars, but they do do daily water changes. So there's no reason that I couldn't do daily water changes. I don't know. I can't bring myself to do it, but it just seems way too small to me. So um, drop a comment with your thoughts. So this is a bit of a short one today guys. Basically that was a big jar of coffee and I've been drinking that coffee for months trying to get to the bottom of it because I wanted the jar. Sorry about the flashing light there. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about putting a beta in it. Um, I've only ever had betas once and they were in a 40 litre tank with filtration so uh, I don't know. Um, but touching on that note, my my fiance Ange, she is talking about wanting a tank in the bedroom. So I thought what better opportunity to try and do a filterless tank. So complete standalone, no electricity fish tank. Um, I've seen it on the internet and the people claiming that the plants is enough to keep the nitrates down. Um, whether I believe that is unknown but there's only one way to decide that for myself and that's to actually do it. I'm talking no water changes, no filter, no light, just the natural sunlight. And um, just like very light fish. Uh, but she's talking about actually getting a beta as well. So um, drop your comments about that. If you guys haven't figured out yet, me and planted tanks, there's a zero experience. Um, I've had like the basic, you know, like the spritz, that tall stuff that grows like a weed. Uh, other than that, I used to have a shrimp set up, had a few plants in it, but 
Um, I've never really had plants that grow. Like I've always had plants that sit dormant and don't grow. But yeah, anyway, that's enough about my planting experience. I don't have a green thumb, guys. My front lawn is also a, a what do you call it? Um, I keep thinking reminiscence, but that's not the word. Uh, anyway, my front lawn's dead, so that means I don't have a green thumb at all. Except the front lawn, I know what it is. The front lawn's just sa too sandy. Straight out, 100%, it's the sand's fault, not mine. Um, but I can't afford to rip it up and lay some good soil down underneath. And it's already too high. I don't want to go up higher by like top dressing a million times. So I don't know what I'm going to do about the front lawn actually. Also drop a comment if you've got an idea. I'm thinking about just adding, um, doing another core and adding Benart clay to the core. Um, and just slowly adding Benart clay. But you can't add it fast because it creates, creates a crust on the surface. Wow, how do we end up on lawn chat? That's a bit strange. Anyway, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry it's not much to it, but I'm just having a bit of a quiet one today. Um, that was more exciting for me than it probably was for you because I've been wanting to do that for ages. Um, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. We only need like 330-something subscriptions to get monetized, and then the channel really starts to kick off. And... Also, Nautilus 2700, raffle at 1,000 subscribers. Don't know how I'm going to afford it, but I promise you guys I will rate, be raffling off that filter. Uh, peace.